So Microsoft is back in the news, uh, making sure that everybody knows that Xbox is here to stay and they're committed to creating new hardware, uh, new software, and more importantly, uh, some investments in and around the Xbox community. We saw recently that they're going to open up some of their uh, titles to other platforms, PS5, potentially Nintendo Switch, definitely on the PC gaming side, and they're integrating the ability to uh, take a look at statistics and uh, other information across those platforms, and they've doubled down on that recently with an introduction of something called Microsoft Game Hub. Uh, so let, I'm going to bring up an article that kind of caught our attention, and Dave, why don't you jump right into that? Yep. So for everybody who's been PC gaming for God knows how long, everybody knows what Steam is. Steam has been one of the, the hubs, if you will, around PC gaming where you can see a lot of things about the games, what's coming up, uh, ratings around them, um, where your friends are playing, what they're playing, what the progression level is. Microsoft took uh, a feather out of that uh, hat on the Steam side, and now they're introducing what I would consider something similar to that, uh, referring to it as game hubs. Now, before we get all excited about it, it's only going to be for Xbox, Game Insider, uh, and uh, some of the uh, PC pieces that are in some of the test programs. This is not going to go uh, roll it out to everybody wide open at this point. When it's going to go, you know, general release, I have no clue yet. We haven't seen that, but it is coming. Some of the cool things about this is, is that, again, it centralized everything within Game Pass and then their new platform about showing progression, showing where your friends are on the either Xbox side or the PC side, how they're playing for cross-platform uh, and cross, um, I almost said record, but no, it's not. It's uh, cross-progression. Uh, um, I think this is a, a, a huge step for the Microsoft side showing this that we can have a full featured centered application around everything in the ecosystem. Um, to me, it looks really promising. I, I like this. Um, aesthetically wise, I think it looks really good. It looks really Xbox-ish, uh, modern. In some ways, I think it looks a little bit better than Steam, but Steam has other features as well. But that's just kind of my hot take on it right now. Uh, the other thing I wanted to bring up is there there was a paragraph right at the end of this. Now, let me see if I can highlight it just so oh I'm yes bring it up if you, if you can be right sneaky stuff so there is a rumor that microsoft is going to be using their surface team to create an xbox handheld uh th this is interesting only because uh we just saw that the nintendo switch 2 is being pushed out until uh, march uh 2025 yeah march uh, so end of that quarter at best right yeah and uh you know that took a hit in their stock because you know, i think everybody was looking to see that this year um yep. and there's a couple other contendos lenovo has something out similar so does uh, asus rog um, but you know, Microsoft stepping into this, especially with the folks that created Surface, um, you got, I would love to see a little mini Surface with a kickstand and some uh, Xbox controllers strapped to the side. Um, you could have a pretty interesting uh, little uh, portable gaming device here. Um, so that that's neat. It was neat to see that this was at the very bottom. And you know, if you didn't read, if you read through this quickly, uh, you probably wouldn't have noticed it. Um, but I, I'm excited by this. And if I were Microsoft. You get this out before the holiday season of 2024 and beat Nintendo to their own game. Yeah, I think this is huge because they've never had a handheld in that place. They've had ways to stream, but never a handheld. I mean, and this is, they kind of call this out here. It says, with the rise of handheld PC gaming, which it is, I mean, as much as I used to fly, I'd always grab an iPad or something on the plane. No, you'd see switches out. You'd see some of the ROG small. I mean, you see all kind of stuff on planes for, for gaming. Um, but there's rumors that Microsoft is designing a portable Xbox engineered by the Surface team. I don't know if I like the term portable Xbox. Just call it a portable gaming system. Um, because remember way back in the day, Sony had the, PS, uh, the PSP, um, which was their little handheld game, which was actually pretty cool. Um, this came directly from Spencer. He said, uh, Spencer signaled Microsoft's willingness to improve the Windows experience for handheld gaming PCs, given how Windows isn't designed with native game controller navigation, which is true. But the fact that, to your point, the Surface team may be designing this, I, I think that's a boon. I think that's actually, if they get a custom piece of hardware and they tune everything the way it should be, I think it could smoke most of the other handheld gamings out there on the PC platform, and it could give the Switch or the Switch 2, whichever you want to prefer, a run for the money. 
You know, it, I think it's also good timing too, where you see the introduction of some of the IGPUs that have hit the market lately, yeah. the Intel Arc uh, on, on the core ultra processors, uh, maybe even AMD on, you know, I think we did a, a video on the 8700G. Yeah. Um, some of those integrated ones, uh, you throw enough RAM at them, you know, 16, 32 gigs, you know, at a, a moderate frame rate, nothing, maybe not with all the bells and whistles on, but you could put something out there relatively that five to eight hundred dollar range and you know make it somewhat accessible and i think uh you know is it going to be as inexpensive as nintendo switch but no no but they're also the not the same type of games i mean you know nintendo is more family oriented you know gaming device you know more cartoon characters you know and you know xbox you know that this is where you get the first person shooters and some of the you know a little bit more intense games as far as a uh, community type gaming um, so yeah, I mean, it's a, it's definitely a different audience might be a drive a different price point, but there's some interesting hardware out right now too, though, that could be well integrated to make this work. Yeah. And the thing about this is they need to pay attention to it in my personal opinion, where they talk about the renewed focus on PC gaming for years, everybody talked about, you know, consoles are going to take over PCs. We've seen that's clearly not the case in any of this, but their focus on this, their understanding, because under the hood. Xbox runs Windows. It's a kiosk version of Windows that runs in there. And I know for all the the techies and the nerdies out there, which we are as well, that's a very simplified version of what runs on that. So please, no emails or anything. I mean, it's I'll just forward them to something you don't like. Um, the cool thing about this is, is that we know like the Lenovo Go and some of the ROG handhelds, they're underpowered. You're already seeing uh, YouTube videos about how to upgrade the memory, add potential storage to them. I think if, if Microsoft takes this, really pays attention, it would be nice to see something in 2024. I just don't think that's going to happen. I think they would probably push this out to 2025 because remember, they're going to be launching the refreshed version of the of the current hardware on Xbox, which is rumors to be a, a white version, a white cylinder. But again, if they're calling it a box, why are they making a cylinder? But that's neither here nor there. Um, I think this is going to be cool. I think this is neat. Um, I would have to say if they made something like this, whether I liked it or not, I'd have to pick up one just because I think it could be a really cool piece of hardware. Well, you know, the other thing is I think the timing is interesting because if you time a potential introduction of a handheld or within a quarter of rolling out Game Hub here, you yeah. know, the, the, the tagline to me on something like that is, uh, you know, don't fall behind your peers on your favorite game. Now I can take it with you. <laughs> now I can, so, you know, game yeah. anywhere, game anytime, and, uh, you know, keep your stats up inside Game Hub. Now I can, so I think it, it could be interesting timing, maybe a good little marketing play on each other. And, uh, yeah, I, th this could be interesting. Um, you know, yeah, I, I if, yeah, I, I want to see what folks think in the comments. I'd love to see, uh, you know, would you be, would you buy an Xbox, uh, you know, portable gaming system or whatever they want to call it? Um, and you know, on the flip side too, Game Hub I think is interesting. Um, you know, I, I it can't hurt. No, I don't see any downside to it whatsoever. And if anything, I like the commitment from Microsoft for the entire platform and the ecosystem. Yep, I'll throw up a poll, give everybody's opinion on it, and uh, please feel free to uh, work on comment on the poll, give your opinions on it, comment down below, and let us know. I think this is going to be cool. Thanks everybody, and as always, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. We do appreciate it, and jump in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks everybody. Thank you.